so we're going to start uh, we start off with the dollar index as usual um, previously uh, I was a bit unsure uh, with the dollar the way this price action was it sort of put me in two minds um, but I said if this grey box holds then and price is below it then we're bearish and it's broken out now so now it's clearer to me it wants to go lower um, which I'm glad it did because if it got above that then it would have been a headache because all of the other major setups were clearer for me if the dollar was to go lower so I also spoke about before in previous market review videos this accumulation here okay significance of this to me is they were acu you know they were in here for a while but over about a month accumulating the lungs for this big move up here okay they moved up then retested once more and then up okay now we're back we're below this low again now with the big stops are going to be resting where they accumulated the lungs so going forward this is going to be my next target next downside objective okay so the low to, of this is um, 94.07 so let's do that 94.07 um so that's gonna be the next downside for me let's do this okay so that's gonna be my target going forward uh let me just do yeah okay so yeah that's that i can get rid of this so you know that's the target and the stops are gonna be resting here on the daily basis okay oh fuck's sakes how you doing does that I keep getting pop-ups that the room is full even though I've clicked the button where it says it shouldn't be showing to me and it's flipping annoying. Okay, that's that next target there. Let's see how it looks on the weekly. On the weekly, you know, obviously last week closed down. Monthly is the key to me. Look at that. We've, we've wicked the candle. We're in the middle of the month now, okay? Two weeks are in um, and two weeks to go. So I'm expecting, you know, this is during the middle of the month is when you usually get the expansion of the body of the candle and now we're in the expansion phase there's no reason to get back above the open now so let me just mark out the open how does that look like on the lower time frame so the open is um 95.59 hang on the open is 95.59 so let me just do that in a different color 95.59 it's all basic using one candlestick a monthly candlestick and seeing how that um is so i'm just gonna do that in a light color so it doesn't get in the way on the lower time frame where is that coming at it comes in around there okay so i don't really want it to go above that um on a weekly time frame that 95.59 is that low of the weekly block here so uh yeah so where do i i'm going to be looking for a retracement right how deep do i want my retracement to be well to be honest with you i don't fucking know um i have a few levels i've got this low here but then i've got this block here but it doesn't it doesn't matter to me i'm not going to say well i have to short it there or i have to short it It doesn't matter i'll wait for the weekly open okay i always do the same thing wait for the weekly open right any movement above that i want it to hit a key higher time frame level so i'll do that in green just say for example so if this was the weekly open right it's a bit messy okay so for example open here this is the weekly open whether it reaches this level here or a bit higher up it doesn't really matter i'm waiting for the response of that key level that i'm anticipating so i'm anticipating that level or that level ideally i want it to stay below the monthly uh, open if it tags it but then i want it to see it reject back down quickly because if it's going to go back above the monthly open then we've got trouble in my opinion and it doesn't make sense for it to go that high so going to a lower time frame um it will see where it comes up to okay so i've got this level marked up here so if it can come up into there may, it may want to fill this in it doesn't necessarily have to but we'll see um any breakdown from from that so when the in so this would be the wick part of the candle okay the wick part so any breakdown of a key level like this or this low here it doesn't really matter to me i want to see that breakdown and i want to see where the other majors are at the same time once i've got the uh, weekly open and then once it starts uh, and forms price action so for example say it opened here and it pushes up um and you know it does i wish i had this drawing tool to make it easy for me but um i don't 
and like that for example say that's the high there and we've had this sort of price action and then it breaks down right then I know this is uh, support here become resistance I look to sell into this level here so if I draw that right then I'll know the highs in once I know for sure then it's all um, you know we're, we're ready and we're looking for downside expansion of that weekly candle okay so far is that clear so I'm not bothered exactly what exact level is the high or where it's gonna come from I just want to see that breakdown I want to see the response uh, I want to see the price action above the weekly open I like a nice con like sort of consolidation type of move above the weekly open and once it gets below that then it's gonna expand so I want to be on board just be up, uh, before it goes below the weekly open but once it gets back below there then I'll know the high is in so uh, at that point I look to compound so that's what I'm looking for my downside objective is is this the next level of stops gonna be resting there I'm looking at a monthly candle chart um, so that's here yeah, there and then obviously later on this high this low here and if that gives in then you know I'll as the week progresses as the month progresses I'll do further updates but for now I am just gonna do um, this for now uh, so that's that done so now let's go to the majors cable is probably my favorite for next week okay um, cable did exactly as uh, I expected it to um, so that worked out nicely uh, from a pre cable breakdown now I'm looking at a few things here okay so I'm gonna mark out where there was majority of the trading done if I mark this box out majority a lot that there's a lot of trading here up down up down efficient price action you know all these price price levels were being filled here you know a bit of a range we broke down below it we didn't stay too long then we got back above it this low here so say so we got a key level here right which was previous resistance we got back below it but then once we got back above it it was game over for the shorts so this is the range the I don't know moves outside of this gray box I see that as deviation okay so this here was the deviation from the the trading okay so I am bullish as fuck this unless unless we start getting really breaking down I'm bullish this market okay how do I get on board first I'm gonna mark out where it does it want to reach for so on a weekly um, well it's already in that resistance level but the next stop say on a weekly basis can be here right so we mark out that high there and then we will work backwards so 134 446 134 446 okay I'll mark that uh, on, uh, okay that's on a, mo a weekly and a monthly okay um, let's go to the daily now on a daily basis right um, I think we're gonna reach that level there because there's a bit of a gap there we got this high here we haven't taken there but short term so this low comes in at 131376 131376 okay so I'm just working backwards bear with me and I'm drawing I could have drawn these levels out before but I'm drawing out in live in front of you guys for a reason so yeah that's gonna be the next target there um, I think 131.60s is a decent target next objective but there and then I think it's basically gonna be a run up a bit uh, I bet you it's gonna be a run up so from here yeah 340 pips so let's look at last week's range how much current curse was that 290 yeah so I'm because I'm expecting you know and look at the monthly kind of look at the way it's looking right it makes sense for these highs to be taken next obviously as the week unfolds you know we can there's different ways of projecting it i can draw fibonacci's um i can say well the 127 161.8 200 you know i like using fibs so that could be the next um possibly using something like this i think it's like a head and shoulders people are looking at that head and shoulders lines up with that monthly open so you know it's upside regardless i've marked out this level and by the end of the month I believe we're gonna take out this but things can change but I'm just happy to day trade it get in get out then next day get in get out you know or trail your stop loss another thing I, I'm doing a lot lately is trailing my stop loss which is helping but it makes more sense for these highs to be taken out okay so 
we are within this consolidation now okay this was the previous consolidation here okay we broke out of that we dip back into it once more we out back again we're in this consolidation now okay and this consolidation led to the breakdown now i believe the stops are going to be resting above here um longer term i think it's going to go a lot higher but i'm just marking out sh shorter term targets here this is really short term but i reckon here possibly by the end of the week or at least the end of the month but we'll approach it one day at a time so that's that um how do i get on board okay um i spoke about last week if you i'm not gonna go over it again because it's just being repetitive now uh, cable was down here when I did the video just on the cable alone and I said um, in the lower time and, and I marked out the weekly open right and I said any price action below that which was all this if you guys remember let me pull out that chart so it just makes it clear so I said yeah this grey box was the weekly uh, uh, price action below the weekly open any price action below this was just accumulation once we got back above it look how we found support there and then after the races i'm expecting something similar okay so my key level f uh, to bounce off from last week was here it's a obvious uh, resistance and support level so similar thing where are my resistance key resistance and support levels for cable it doesn't matter if i got long or not i don't know why you're asking that what, what does it matter if i got long or not um so the daily so where's my key level so we've got um we've got this high here obviously okay but we've also got this high here which one is it i don't know i'm gonna have to wait for price to show me which one it's gonna be so we've got that key level there that key level there um okay so let me just get rid of this for a second right so it's obvious i've identified that level there or that level there i don't know which one's gonna hold nobody really knows so I'll mark out that weekly block here, high here, okay? The high here comes in at 132.21. Okay. Which is comes in line with you know these levels here, right? So what I'll be looking for is and now if you want to bring in a daily order block well this is your daily order block now resistance resistance now is broken out of that turn support so what i'll be looking for is um, similar price action to what happened here where it's, it's dropping and then see this accumulation here right we've had this accumulation here a fast run below that into the key level once we got a back above there that's it the lows in and then start looking for longs so similarly i'd like to see a retracement um a possible accumulation like here so imagine so fuck six so imagine we dropped right and then we started accumulating down here like this like that and then we had a fast drop into a key into the level where there's that or that but once we got a back above that oh shit what did i do there okay fuck it once we got back above that then i load the lows in then start looking for bullish flow so resistance and support okay and then I'll, I'll start looking for longs and then my objectives are in until it does that i'm not interested um depends on how price then falls but ideally this is the scenario i'm looking for just like last week and cable loves doing this pattern notice study cable it does it all the time let's look back here where it dropped into that key level there i post previously accumulation once it got above that that's a game over for the shorts and we start hunting lungs and this is where I, I call these trades live actually it was down here i called it live and i called it live down here i'm not bothered about missing the low but once the low is in and i know it's in then it's like that is that clear is that clear so far okay so that's what i'll be looking for um euro dollar now i prefer let me do the euro gbp first then i'll go back to the euro dollar euro gbp um obviously it's looking bare it's looking like it wants to go lower so i'm not really wanting to trade this but i think you know we could have a retracement background here overall on the macro time frames it's looking bullish but you know it doesn't mean you can't have a retracement um judging by the way it's looking now i prefer the cable lungs it doesn't necessarily mean a euro can't go up but 
I think cable has better chance of going up. Technically, it's clearer. Euro GBP wanting to go lower, so I prefer the ca uh, cable longs. But if dollar is going to fall, then obviously euro can go up. So um, they either consolidate the euro, I mean euro GBP, or cable. Just the, uh, euro, cable and euro can both move up, but cable is probably going to be the stronger pair. Um, I see upside for euro as well, but uh, going into the week, I'm looking for cable longs. Things can change, but we'll see. So euro GBP, where do I think it's going to go next? Well. We've taken out, obviously, see this consolidation here. Um, obviously, we take out these highs here. We go into some weekly resistance here in the form of this order block there. It's breaking down. That's a nice bearish candle, that is. So, um, I'll see what, yeah. So, we could have a retracement up into here. I doubt it, but I think we'll stay below here. Right, I think the next stops are going to be resting here. And the next stops are going to be resting there. The only I'm not looking to trade this. I'm just looking at this briefly, just so I get an idea of what do I want to take. Do I want to take the euro or do I want to take the cable longs? Okay. Um, I think they're going to want to take out these lows and then and then this low first. Okay. And once these are given, then these lows. But I'm only looking at this for cable or euro purposes. I'm not really interested in trading that. So that's all I have to say on the euro GBP. I think it's going to want to tr trade lower first. Things can obviously change, but. Um, Objective wise, it could also go up to here, which would mean it fills in uh, the thin price movement on a monthly chart. This from there to there, I think it could reach for this, then probably continue up. Okay, I think a lot of people are just long the breakout on this and they're all fucking trapped. But I'm not, I don't give, really give a fuck. Um, I'm just interested in the euro and cable for now. I think there, there, then there. Okay, that's euro GBP done, euro dollar. Previously, we've, when when this broke out, we were looking at this level here, this block here, uh, which was support becomes resistance, resistance becomes support. Okay, uh, we found support there, pushed up. Um, at the time, I was a bit unclear. It was down here. I thought it would have gone lower, but it didn't. It just proved that it wants to stay up above. Uh, next stop's obviously going to be this high here, but on a quarterly chart, I think a post or a six-month chart, I said. E euro dollar wants to is most likely going to want to take this i've explained on a weekly basis where you know we had this consolidation here right um we came down took out the lows got back up within that consolidation it makes more sense for it to take out these highs here so 1.1615 is the next target and then the this high is uh, 1.1712 okay those are the two next targets for the upside on euro um one second okay that's that um so how do i get on board well it, to be honest with you the euro is a, at the moment the way it stands to me entry wise it's not really clear to me i don't really have a clear entry so i'll be looking for a similar thing this is this is the thing um the way i trade i'm not too bothered about or oh, which level is it going to come off of this or that i don't give a fuck I just go with what the market is showing me as the week progresses okay like i said basic principle what is a weekly if it's going to be a bullish weekly candle how should it look like a bullish weekly candle you know are you open i want to see the wicking obviously once the wick is priced in and we get back above the open then i start hunting um the lungs because probability wise you know you know where price shouldn't go once we got above this price should it really go below this now should it so then you can start using the support and resistance is formed above the weekly open to start getting long to meet your objectives okay so i don't care what it does I'll, wherever it bottoms up from ideally i don't want to see it go below this because it's come down it's taken out the lows here they shouldn't really come back below here unless it's some type of you know you get those z days where we just get stops taking both ends of the market it could be one of those or some sort of big central bank or interest rate driver that just whips it all the way down whips it all the way back up but i'm not really looking to trade those days anyway so you shouldn't none of you should unless you whatever it's just gambling then um so let it do its thing um it's it's obvious to me it wants to go higher right I have my invalidation levels out so the interesting thing was look look where it bottomed out right if i draw the range from the down candles that led to the move up right so the retracement we came right down to the 50 percent here right right so that's that's an interesting thing for me there 
Um, there's another thing I missed out, which I can't be bothered going through now. Um, which if I paid attention to, maybe I would have been um, more bearish the dollar. But we'll save that for another time. Um, as it stands, I don't know. It could want to hold these candles here and not get below this low. Um, could just start drifting up strong, straight from the open. But we'll have to see. Let it pace its low. Let it go above its weekly open. When it does that, then I'll be in and look for the targets. The main thing for me is I know the targets. Okay, the high. There's a higher for me. So the way at the probabilities is there a higher probability of market getting there first or there first? Okay, is it high probability of getting getting below uh, at the one? 1.1370s or 1.1615s to me as it stands there's a high probability of going there so if i was trading on a daily chart i could just bust in along here put my stop loss where i think market shouldn't go and a target there and that would give you mm, 1.5 hour whatever that's if i was to trade like that so the low time frames will always be used for refinement purposes okay so let it do its thing um I don't know how deep it could retrace. So one scenario I could say, well, oh fucking can't move. Um, is I'll just take the bodies of these. I mean, if you look at this right, this candle here led to the move down to take out these stops. Okay, let's see. This is a possible support area for me. Okay, it's a possible support area for me. I could say okay. Then I'll wait for the market to unfold. Does it hold that level? I gotta, I gotta wait and see. Does it hold it level? Does it do as I expect it to? Uh, say if it's the weekly open here, um, is it gonna do this? I'm not interested in taking the trade here. I'm interested in taking it above this. If it does that, then okay. I know the week lows in retracement. Look for your bullish support resistances on the lower time frame, and that's how I play it. Similar to cable, okay. Does that make sense? Obviously, when certain price unfolds and we get stop rates lower beneath this, then I'll be able to get in on a better entry. But I don't know that yet until the market opens. And we've got equal lows here. We could spike these lows uh, into our um, key level and then go up. Uh, another level, I could say, well, we've got this level here. I don't fucking know right now which level is going to go into. It could come into here. Let it do its price action. Let it make the low. Let it get above the weekly open. Then I will go in. Okay. And if it's still not clear, just don't trade it. There's plenty of other markets out there. Okay. That's my euro. So while when the price when the market unfolds, you know we got the whole week. Uh, one when I if I believe the weekly low is in, I'll do another review and say okay, this is now I think it's bottomed out. Just like I do with cable, I'll do it again later on in the. Uh, when the week progresses and we'll see where it goes from there okay dollar card i mean yeah this son of a bitch has just been going i don't even want to look at this paper because i call the high here we're down a thousand pips i'm not on board one pip here of that i just say dollar card but i do believe we're going lower uh, i posted a quarterly chart this was the quarterly level uh, once we got back below that then i think we're going to take out these this i don't think this is over a lot of people are flipping caught this but if the dollar is going lower then you know dollar card is going to go probably most likely going to go lower um i don't know whether it's going to put the brakes on or not but i'm not interested in ter trading this pair whatsoever i just it's not dollar aussie dollar it's um Previously, when market was down here, I was looking for shorts and I was shorting this market and I got stopped out. But I said, if we got above the 7620s, that's it, game over for the shorts and we're going long. Um, well, you can see the result of that. Uh, on a weekly basis, I also spoke about these highs here, they're really clean. Okay, we've taken that, it's happened. They're going to talk about, oh, call this, that. No one does that, it's just fuck that. Um, but what's interesting, what are we going to do going forward now? Okay. So I look for where was previous support, where was previous resistance. Okay, so if I if I draw this here as a resistance turn, resistance level going forward could it be support. We've also got this here. This was a resistance level. I don't know which one's going to hold. Is it that one or is it that one? I don't know. But um, we've got this here as well. This is wide, right? Okay. Reason why I'm doing these two candles because they're all bullish. Now. What I'll be waiting for is the same thing. I'm not doing nothing special here, nothing complicated here. This, these three candles here, the up candles that led to the down move, resistance, resistance. When it comes down into it, I'm waiting for it to become support. But I don't need a specific key level. I just need that zone there I've marked out. 
let it do its thing again um, if the dollar is topping out and the cable is bottoming out euros bottoming out, all of them are bottoming out at the same time and and the Aussies into a key level then there's a high probability the low is in and let's go for longs okay target wise so I'll be waiting for either price to come into here and then rip above the weekly open again or if structure has built in on the lower time frame say 15 minute h1 30 minute and then it gets back above that then I'll say okay the low is in off the uh, key higher time frame level then let's start looking for longs so same scenario I'll be looking for that but I know I want to see price coming to here first before I do anything on the lower time frame I like the fact that it's been an efficient movement up the only inefficiency we've seen is here okay um, yeah, this is a bit of inefficiency but you know it's not too bad I want to see this filled in um, lower time frame wise you know let's see what it does when it comes if it comes here or there let's see what it does um, ideally I like a fast move into it um, same thing as euro and cable um, target wise okay let's talk about that um, well more or less taking that level there uh, if I go to the daily time frame I believe we're gonna come up into here next which is 79 60s which is uh, 126 pips away so if I mark out the low here uh, 7 oh, fuck, 79632 79 six, three, two. Uh, let's do that in a different color okay this is going to be my target for next week target one and then maybe trade my stop loss and see how it goes and then obviously these highs here okay we're talking above 80s but we'll see um yeah so that's gonna be my next target okay so that's that everyone clear and Aussie? I'm leaving Dali in till the end because there's a reason why I'm going to explain what, the longer talk, how I came out of it without a loss, even though it was against me. So everyone clear with the Aussie, yeah? Same, same procedure. Um, I'll have to wait for the week to open, let price unfold, and then we'll have to see how it goes from there. So that's that done. Um, I can't really be bothered with any other pair for now apart from Dali. And I'm not even going to look at Kiwi. Just a few pairs for now. The theme is dollar weakness, so uh, we can go into market as the price unfolds so obviously i spoke about this in previous videos where i said this could be the potential high um we took out this high here this was the daily block it hadn't tested we've come down now let's look at this okay where do i want to get on board this okay um first i'm going to talk about the longer took i already explained it where um i'm not going to go over it again but i took a long here obviously um and at the time you know i spoke about this level here once we got through that, I, I took a long around here. Once we, uh, I, had, I initially had my stop loss there. I wouldn't have let it go below that. If it got below that, I would have manually closed it. But I just had a stop loss there in case it spiked through and up. But once we got back above there, I added another long. So this is an example of compounding where I pushed my, this initial stop loss to there. Added another long around here. Pushed my stop loss there. Um, when it pushed up, took out that high there and it came down and took out this low there as it moved up I pushed my stop loss under there okay um, okay we took out this high here right I oh, no, sorry 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 we took out this high here um, and then it obviously it broke down and then it took me out on a trailing stop loss I just came out uh, for a bit of profit um, nothing serious but you know better than a loss so that's how I trailed my stop loss even though I was wrong on the overall bias I still managed to come out of the water and I like the fact that price was trading efficiently okay so that's done that's done with over with now what am I looking for going forward okay so let's look at this now dollar yen has a tendency to repeat the same pattern that I noticed in it it may happen this time it may not okay first of all let's look at this okay um, I'm looking look for a previous example then we'll go over this again okay we had um, dolly in here it topped out okay wherever it topped out from and then it sold off and then people are trying to short it there 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 and then what does it do rips up takes out the stops and then drops I'm looking for something similar to unfold but what if you go back on the charts you'll notice it does the same thing again and again and again right there when it pushed up took out those stops it found resistance there sold off back there again I'm looking for exactly the same thing and, and, the, and what it also had was um, it was also a daily block as well that's important as well a daily block so we have a daily block here right let's just I like this level here okay we've got that there just marking that out for example's sake we've also got this here right I and at the same time we've got this block there I believe or 
the only way unless you know price says otherwise as price unfolds um, I want to see price unfold here I want to see a push up into this this is where I'm willing to load my full position on for a short okay so I want to see it move up into there um, it's what Dalian can do that okay so I want to see price unfold I want to I want the market to convince everyone the low the high is in and then do what it did here where um, they at this point you know, people saying sell off sell off sell off and then boom takes them all these fuckers out and then sells off I want to see something similar to that obviously if the, the way it stands that's the setup I'm looking for um, if it changes then you know I'll have to see what market does another significant thing is if you take the this whole move consolidation here was the the reason the the built the longs here to push the market up okay if I mark out 50% of that range it comes where does it come into right where I'm looking to sell at okay that's another confluence for me and you notice they love using the mean threshold of consolidations okay um, into that then I'm looking for the sell-off uh, my targets are well I think I've got quite big targets here I think if this motherfucker starts selling off then we're going to um, I, I think we could come up to, into there fill this grey box here but I'll take it one level at a time so if I'm to short that and also it's a H4 block there as well so I, there's a lot of conf this is a lot of confluence for me to short it here okay I don't want to see it go above here if it goes above here it's invalid in my opinion but if it goes up there and then then I look for the lower time frame breakdown I look for it to sell go there and then sell off okay so target wise uh, on Friday we found support here okay I'm glad it did that I'm glad it didn't sell off without me because um, I had a short setup for the, to sell it on the Friday once I trade and stop stuck me out but I didn't want to trade um, I was just I just feel so burnt out past couple of weeks I've had a really good couple of weeks I'm, I've been I just feel burnt out um, so I'm I haven't really been too too active this week um, so I think target wise obviously so we just it's just marking our swing lows really I like it for it to come into here um, you know target wise can one target one target two. I don't really need to say the target it's just each swing low um, that's it as in, if the dollar is gonna collapse then obviously dollar is gonna go uh, there's inefficient inefficiency here in the market so ultimately I think by the end of the week I think we could reach into there at least by the end of the week if the shit goes to plan you know the way I, I wanted to I think by the end of the week we probably reach here then we'll see what happens after that or we quickly end ripping but as it stands for now I'm bearish uh, as long as we're below this high here um, if we get move above this high here again then I'm gonna start looking for lungs okay then I'm gonna start looking for lungs is that clear? That's everything I've done said is quite clear. I think it's quite clear. If you think it's not clear, fuck off. Only joking. Is that clear? Okay, so um, let me stop the recording there. I can take questions. Okay.